Okay, uh, friends and uh, subscribers of uh, Jonati sites, uh, how are we? What's going on out there? Hope uh, we're doing fine and okay. And uh, this way, uh, we are fair. I, ca I can't say we are good, but we are fair because the field is tough when it comes to um, when it comes to money, when it comes to funds. I'm talking about the field of construction. Um, welcome on board, and uh, this is Jonati Sites as usual, hundred percent construction, and uh, we are back again with something different. We've ever done this, um, though. Uh, we need to update ourselves because, as uh, if you're a good follower. Uh, for those of you who are abroad, uh, those of you who are in Middle East countries, those of you who are in uh, Canada, Japan, China, Russia, uh, America, and because all those areas, I have uh, have clients there, I have people there, that are that always reach out to my inbox, that always are communicate to. So if you're a good follower of Ugandan news, eh, what is taking place currently in Uganda? uh you can understand that uh um business people uh or business tycoons are demonstrating about uh if result taxation uh things eh, in kampala and uh because they want to meet the president because of taxation so uh basically as other fields are facing the same uh, issue of, of taxation it's the same with construction field we also face the same issue when it comes to taxation because if um, transportation has been hyped uh, probably don't expect the cement to stay in the same position when it comes to prices so otherwise we always have to keep on updating you what's taking place because I remember um, uh, I remember by then, before I joined the construction, uh, the, the a bag of cement you could find it at uh, around like it was eighteen thousand by then. But you can imagine, a bag of cement it has ever been at uh, fifteen fifteen k. Yes, it has ever been at uh, that amount. So you can imagine what causes that. You understand it's because of the development uh because of the taxation because of the you know the movement of whatever and whatever and whatever so that's why we have to embark on um seeing what's taking place in the field of construction when it comes to uh costs and prices of these materials um otherwise hope you are doing fine and okay now this video you may not be able to see my face <coughs> that's why i'm showing you my screen Oh, I'm showing you what uh, I created on my computer. So, the what you're seeing right now on the computer, um, these uh, materials were of a certain project that we created for a certain client in Chuenda. Actually, I'm, I, I forgot to, to rub this. Sorry. But, but anyway, the, the name of the client is not there. It is okay. But um, the project is in Chuenda. So, it is uh, a four-bedroom house. Even I had, uh, I had to edit some because there are some information that uh, was not all much crucial that you needed to know. Because even still, I'm seeing some information that I, I forgot to rub or to erase, like uh, site clearance, uh, like setting out all these things. Eh? You might find out someone who's building a th uh, uh, a single unit or a studio room might not need this stuff, you know. But anyway, let us go through and uh try to find out what is taking place uh in terms of uh, uh prices in terms of cost when it comes to the material uh when it comes to material to the cost of material when it comes to construction materials eh? so uh as i've told you the project uh is yet to be started we are yet to start it and uh i um um I felt it like I needed to update you guys about what's taking place because I was also surprised about uh, some materials eh, that uh, I used known to a few weeks back. They were not 
the same price that we used to get them. But just a few weeks again, you could find them they are just at different prices. Eh? So I was surprised. I was like, uh-uh. We need to update people about what's taking place when it comes to construction material. Actually, let's, let's dive into, into this. It is uh, quite uh, long, but uh, I know we'll be able to uh, to finish them all. Now, uh, the reason why I've used this uh, system of showing it to you uh, written on my screen it's because I may not be able to to show the pictures all the pictures that I required because if I talk about the holes you know the holes if I talk about the big axe you might be some might be not knowing them yeah? if I talk about uh, now I might talk about the expanded laughing metal uh, then you people are confusing me because when I you when I when I when I upload videos in Uganda, people complain that people don't listen, don't, don't hear the language, da, da 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 da. So that's why I've been forced at least to stay in English when it comes to this field. Because now, if you want to construct all of us, even if you want to construct a single unit, even if you want to construct a latrine, even if you want to construct a um, a parameter wall, even if you want to construct a flat, even if you want to construct a three bedroom house, whatever that whatever that you want to construct, just know what I have here on my list, you need it. What I have here on my list, you need it. Yes, you might not need all of them, but at least you need at least five to ten items of what I've listed here you get that so that's why I, I need to st I need to stick uh, or I need to stay in the language of English so that we can understand so the reason why I, I was telling you the reason why I put this stuff on my screen is because I might not be able to show each and everything in the pictures to you guys but I, I'm going to try to uh, show what I could think that you guys cannot understand like if I could talk about expanding laughing metal like 90% of the people might not understand that might not understand what I'm talking about but if they see it they can understand it okay let's dive into this otherwise the talking uh, the talking has been too much no will ballows will ballows currently at the moment uh, a will ballow you you might find it at around like 120k and 150k yes that's the range uh now you're seeing here on the screen that uh, it is 150 i had to put for the client 150 the, now we are always advised when we are listing things of materials we are always advised at least if something is of if something is of 10k try to put it at 15k so that if the client goes at the market will not fail to to get it you get that that's why we a bit hype the prices so that when you go to the market you might not you you won't fail to get it you get that because if uh, if something is of 10k and uh, you, probably by the time i've told you it is 10k and uh, you buy it in uh, um you buy it uh, three weeks later you might find it is at 15k or you might find it at 18k that's why I have to tell you it's 15k yet at the moment it's 10k so by the time you go there if you find it at, at 10k then you're at uh, safer side it's an advantage if you find it at 15k yes still you get it okay um, let's talk about the shivers shivers one shovel you get it at 20k at the moment the pick axes pick axes pick one pick axe you find it at 22k that is 22k don't mind about the quality uh sorry the quantity uh, this this it, the digits you're seeing these digits you're seeing four three uh, whatever i forgot to erase them because um uh, I've, as I've told you, it's a project of a certain client. Now, the holes. One hole probably at the moment at the market you find it at twenty k. Uh, now the digging spears. <laughs> uh, digging spears. Some of you might not need them. Okay. Anyway, one dig. Now, according to the, this project that uh, we are yet to start, 
the digging spears are needed uh, at least one dig one digging spear it is at 30k the pangas the pangas one panga it is at 15k uh, the sisal roll or all the ropes eh? uh, it has 10k it is at 10k one roll that is per roll eh? and uh, this client needed needs five uh, rolls of sisals uh, the water drums uh, this client needs three of them but at least one drum like this one drum of uh, of water or uh, all, all talk about the tanks those small tanks eh? uh, because they carry on like uh, how many jerry cans of water it could be around like a uh, uh, hundred liters eh? so 100 liters like 100 liters they are around like 100 liters could be around like 100 liters or 120 liters eh? those drums are required at the site uh, probably one drum you can find it at, at 150k 50,000 shillings now the jerry cans now these are jerry cans uh, one jerry can you can find it at uh, it's between 7k and 10k so the reason why now I'm, I'm not explaining so much because i've spoken a lot when the video was starting and i don't want to uh, the speaking to be too much because all these uh so far these items uh, they have their functions they they aid us in a lot when we come when it comes to construction because now jerry cans a client you might um, tell him to or tell the client to buy at least the motor pans but these jerry cans you can one they have two advantages you can either use them to fetch the water or you can cut them into into two pieces that is one jerry can you can put, cut it into two pieces and they can uh, serve as motor pans eh? motor pans or bulinganga otherwise you need jerry cans by all means now you need a sledgehammer sledgehammer at uh, this one sledgehammer it is at 90k sledgehammer these are hammers that uh, we use to uh, um, to break uh, hard cores into pieces so those are sledgehammers at least um, one sledgehammer it's at 90k now um site clearance uh setting out all these i i told you when i was starting the video that i just forgot to erase them eh? so let's go to nails uh, nails uh two and a half inch two and a half inches one kilogram it is at six six k or six thousand you get the shillings uh three inch that is one kilogram it's a 6k four inch 6k that is per kilogram eh? five inch 6k per kilogram it's probably even six inches you can find them at um it's probably even six inches you can find it at a uh, 6k still now calitoons calitoons these are the uh, eucalyptus poles eh? uh kalitun so you uh probably we always need the, this uh eucalyptus poles for uh <coughs> making scaffolds when it comes to um building higher heights so at least one pole only like this you can find it at three thousand five hundred or four k but probably in the, now the market at four k it's mostly at four k either small or big four k but even there are those eucalyptus trees or cartoons those who are big what do you cartoon say that we use for roofing eh? which are 12k 10k on the market now we need timber timber at the market currently embow is a nene that is a 12 by one inch now this timber we use them in making a uh, form work uh probably laying them on the scaffolds when we are constructing uh at least one like this you can buy it at 8k but uh, if you buy it from the factory 
uh, if the factory is nearby you probably you can get it at 6k, 6K. because there is a certain project recently we've just uh, completed of a flat and uh, we bought them at 6k yeah probably they are not in good shape they are not well finished as such but still they can work uh, let's go to bricks now bricks when it comes to bricks uh if you are to buy world band clay bricks at least one piece you will find it at 450 shillings it is either it is between either 400 and 450 ugandan shillings that is it is according to where you are um let's talk about the mud bricks mud bricks uh these are uh, bricks made out of you know normal soil loam soil eh? Uh, mud bricks so mud bricks one brick like this you find it at either 300 380 and 400 that is one brick like this so you will calculate for yourself if your engineer or your builder has said i need a thousand a thousand uh, bricks so probably you have to multiply 1000 times 380 thousand shillings and get the money and get the total that uh uh, you need the sum of the total that you need for that now let's talk about the um, the, the, the the blocks uh, no, the, the blocks the concrete blocks now these concrete blocks uh, according to this client uh, we um, we told her that you need six inches the, because even concrete blocks are of different sizes because there are those of eight inches so those of six inches even there are those was those were small smaller than six inches probably used for partitioning partitioning the walls now these concrete blocks uh one concrete block like this it's either between 200 uh, sorry 2200 and uh 2500 that's the range that's the range that's the range so either is six inches if eight inches just know you get it at, at that range now cement a bag of cement how much is it currently at the at the at the market currently right now the bag of cement now we have different brands of bags of cement we have Kampala. By the way, there are very, 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 very many types of um, brands when it comes to cement. Even recently, there's one I used that even I didn't know uh, when I was in Kalamoja last year. It is called Emirates, whatever. But anyway, the famous ones that we know, uh, we have the Fondi, we have the Kampala cement, we have the Simba cement, we have the Toro cement, we have um, the what? the white cement there are very many very many at the market but now the range it is between uh, 32,000 and 35,000 that is 35k that is 32k and 35k Ugandan shillings that is a bag of cement so it's between there but though me myself uh, I I mostly I mostly use only Toro cement. I don't want to use any other uh, brand. So let's talk about um, let's talk about the aggregates. Now the aggregates you can either buy. There are those which are machine crushed and there are those which are hand crushed. So sorry about sorry about the the noise in the background of the dogs, but don't worry. Uh, <coughs> so long as you're he you're hearing me um aggregates uh one forward trip uh one forward trip like this you will get it at uh, 38 no it's 380,000 shillings not at 30 something it's 380,000 shillings that is a forward trip of aggregates that is machine crushed so if you're buying if you're buying hand crushed you can, you might get it at even lesser than that it's according to where you are where you are and how accessible is your place i mean where you're buying them and how accessible is your place where from where you're buying them 
so it will det determine the price one lf truck of aggregates probably you get it at uh, 280 000 k and even either below that um um snow truck now there are those whereby you are required to buy a snow truck F most especially those who are building flats Abazimba Karina, you need snow truck you can't tell me that you're going to build a flat and use this normal forward truck, whatever otherwise you'll be cheating yourself when it comes to money yes you might use them there's no problem buying those forward whatever but if you sit down and really calculate you could find that someone who has bought a snow truck is better than you who's just buying only in forward trips so one forward uh sorry one snow truck probably you can find it at one and one one point eight m and two point five millions yes that is it now um let's go to uh sand 